my dear craft family uh, this video is very special just because you have to watch me in person and I felt uh, that this what I would like to say it it have to be face to face even I don't like to be front of camera I literally hate it but for now please bear with me I need to say something and uh, I hope I will don't mess up uh, in the past few years, I received amazing, uh, heartwarming support and encouraging support from each and every one of you. And I will be forever thankful for everything you do for me. Uh, but last week when uh, I made a video just to explain why I am not uh, on YouTube, it was something that I didn't expect. Uh, I've been pretty much down with my thoughts, with my feelings, just because in my personal life I had huge expectations from something that I wanted and it didn't happen. So I felt I need to apologize and I didn't expect the reaction. I received your amazing comments, uh, sharing your stories, which was quite surprising how many of us are single moms who went through the very similar, uh, very similar story, it was, it was really wow. It was eye opening. It was, uh, I felt sad and honored at the same time, and that was so huge mix of feelings and uh, your awesome support, encouraging words, even say hello. It was everything what I needed at that time and I will be forever thankful for the courage, the hope you gave me through to all your messages. That's why you need to watch me right now because I felt I need to say it. I need to say it in the person and I need to thank you in the person for everything you did for me. And I hope my channel will always bring good feeling to you. I hope I will always find a way how to get back to you what I just received, the heartwarming feeling, amazing support and um, togetherness. The time is most important value in this world and you shared your time with me and for that um, I would like to say a huge thank you. I will remember this one forever. And I, I will always try to bring some good content. I hope you will always enjoy my videos. And I will always bring you this happiness and this joy and good feeling back to you. So thank you so, so much for all your amazing support. I read all your messages and I treasure them all. I need you to know how I feel about you and how thankful I am. So today's video it's continuing uh, of that newspaper craft but if you don't have newspapers just try it with book pages. I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, in today's video I put together videos I made uh, when I created basket from newspapers. I didn't know what I'm doing actually so my explanation through the video will be more like here I did this one but <laughs> it wasn't right. <laughs> it was many mistakes. If I will make it one more time in the future, I know I will make it probably a little bit different way. Hopefully I will get there. I'm not sure. I hope you will enjoy today's video. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. And I hope you will enjoy. These baskets you can see now uh, are used in a Czech Republic to store strawberries mostly. And uh, it was the biggest inspiration. It was the actually inspiration for me. And I tried to kind of copy the pattern uh, and made it from newspapers. First, I cut two 
gray boards in the size I needed to big enough to store to make a platform or base for my baskets. Uh, I cut it in the size which can fit my journal which I'm making from newspapers. And then I had to create uh, kind of like flat strips from newspapers. So I took newspapers, folded newspapers around my uh, metal ruler cut it strips and then glued uh, these strips together. I needed to make these newspapers a little bit stronger uh, to make sure I will have good base. So I always folded these newspaper strips uh, on half and then one more time on half. Then I folded the sides uh, to the middle fold I applied the glue to, to glue all these folded sides and that way I have created nice strong strips. Uh, my ruler measure 5 cm so I had uh, base strips 10 cm uh, wide each of these strips and in the end when I folded uh, those strips it was two and a half centimeters white strips and I have created uh, 22 strips like this from my newspapers 11 on each uh, side I mean 11 vertically 11 horizontally placed in that pattern when I started to put together this uh, this waving pattern I took two of these strips and I glued them together in the middle so first I folded them on half to mark the middle of each of them and then I glued these uh, folds together and then I just started to place my papers uh, in the waving pattern which means one on the top of one strip uh, next one under that uh, strip. I hope it that makes sense. Uh, I hope uh, that you will understand uh, what I mean with that waving pattern. Always uh, on the vertical one strip, I glued a line of or row of uh, strips horizontal way, one on the top, one on the bottom. I hope that makes sense. At least what I'm doing on the video, it will make sense. Once I had strips glued uh, on one, one vertical strip, I started to add uh, those other vertical strips. Uh, I think that this was the part uh, where I made the mistake. Uh, if I will do some kind of this waved pattern ever again for making the basket I would definitely glue these vertical strips just in the middle on that middle horizontal strip and then the edges I will only wave through the horizontal strips to make them free and make them flexible for a future weaving or waving the basket so when I glued these strips all together I started to fold uh, this waved pattern in the size I needed for my uh, journal so I placed the journal inside I uh, folded the base and then I started to fold it those uh, you know those other sides to make base for my basket and I also realized that the sides of this waving pattern are not too long. So I had to make another strips from newspapers and I had to extend the sides of, of this waved pattern to make the side strips long enough so I can continue with that waving around the corner of the future basket. I hope that makes sense because I have no idea how the other way I should explain it. So to make a beautiful 
this this basket beautiful i used gesso white gesso and i applied white gesso all over of these newspaper strips and then i started to sew this <laughs> this pattern on my sewing machine and here i noticed how much easier my work will be if these strips will be not glued together i had to rip them off apart uh, here and there uh, but I, I made it through. So then the next step was to make stronger my chipboard pieces. I wrapped them to the brown paper and I also created uh, my template for punching the holes for future kind of like legs of my basket. I used paper fasteners uh, and I applied those or fixed those paper fasteners to the corners of the bottom of my basket so it will be stronger. And then I glued two chipboard pieces together to make that bottom of the basket uh, stronger. I also wrapped these papers to my uh, collage paper from newspapers to make it, you know, all work together. So here you can watch me how I am wrapping to that collage paper. It was quite fun. This was really easy to do and I did enjoy it. And I know that basket looks really awesome with this bottom, with this strong bottom and it holds really well the journal I have created this basket for. Once I had my uh, bottom of that basket done, I did glue that uh, chipboard piece on my waved pattern and I let it dry through the night with many books on the top to make sure that it's all glued together. And here you can see my waving, continuing waving of these extended edges. Uh, first, I waved these papers together and I fixed those ends uh, with paper clips to make sure it will hold until uh, I'm finishing the corner. Then I needed to uh, kind of create that corner so I folded these papers uh, with my hands to create actual corner of that basket and this was it wasn't that hard I thought uh, it will be hard but it actually wasn't that hard there was a really Im uh, important to keep those strips fixed with those paper clips together so it will be not unweaving while I am trying to glue these strips together. It was quite fun and I did enjoy it so much. But as I said, I didn't know if I'm doing doing it right. So it's not proper tutorial. It's more like sharing how I get to that pattern. I have to say, I will probably do something like this again because it makes really beautiful storage for the journal. So once I had all corners done, uh, I choose the, the size I want. Uh, and here I went with those little squares. They, they were kind of like navigating me where I should cut the ends of these strips. Uh, even they were glued together, these strips, that pattern was glued together. I wanted to make sure it will don't get ripped off. So first I sewn all the edges around that basket on my sewing machine and then I also added their uh, ribbon or trim all around and sew it few more times again. Uh, to make a nice and vintage shape or a vintage shade on that basket I did use uh, my colors. It was, I think, bronze tone, uh, acrylic bronze tone, and I did paint all that basket with bronze tone. So I always applied a coat of that bronze tone acrylic paint and then uh, wipe it with wet wipes uh, to make just shades, not to properly change the uh, color, just to make a vintage looking shade uh, on the basket. And I did this technique on all around of this basket, uh, also on the bottom and inside. And for uh, decorating all around, uh, around that gray trim, I did choose this nature style of trim. Uh, it's really beautiful and I do believe it gave to this basket really nice look. So I used my hot glue gun and I glued this trim around that top of that basket. 
And as a last decoration, I choose a book metal label, oh, I forgot the name, label maker, not label maker, <laughs> book label frame, metal frame, this one. <laughs> And I just fixed that frame. Uh, first, I applied uh, to that frame a uh, small paper with, what is there, magazine, I think. Yeah, magazine. And then I glued this metal label onto my basket with my hot glue gun. And I fixed in, uh, fixed there those brats. And that was all what I did with this basket. It was quite fun. Even I didn't know what I'm doing, but I did enjoy it. I hope you did enjoy this walk through of the process making of, of this basket and I hope you will try it yourself. It's lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.